In this short video I would like to explain you how to use the EEIP library, the Java version of the EEIP library, to talk to Ethernet IP devices. Um, I prepared a short uh, sample. This sample is also available uh, in the download area. So first of all you have to download the EIP library. So go to uh, eeiplibrary.de and download the Java version of the library. The library is also available as a .NET uh, version to um, for Visual Studio um, applications. So first of all, um, I connected an Ethernet IP device. In this case, it is a Vago 750-352 device, an Ethernet IP coupler. Um, then I have a four-channel digital input device, a two-channel digital input device, um, a two-channel analog input device, a two-channel output device. Um, I, as you can see, I jumpered the first two digital inputs of the four-channel digital input uh, device to high. So first of all, in the first example, uh, I would like to show you how to um, uh, discover devices. So um, um, this uh, this method will sh uh, will scan the local network for all available Ethernet IP devices. So I will uh, start this example. Okay. And you see, I get an answer from the Ethernet IP device. So there's a Vago 750-352 device. This is our IP address, the port, and render ID, product code, and zero number. Um, so then I have an example that um, reads the state of the digital inputs of the first four digital inputs. Um, as you can see, I um, I jumpered the the first two digital inputs to high. So this is the uh, the first digital input device. And if I start this program, you see that the state of the first digital inputs is high, and of digital input 3 and 4 is uh, low. Um, in this example I read the state of two digital uh, analog inputs. Um, I wired uh, two PT100 thermoresistors to the device. This is this one. And uh, we are reading the temperature of this device. So this is the IP address of our uh, Vago coupler. Um, first, if we want to establish um, communication to an Ethernet IP device, we have to register a session. Um, then we um, use the assembly object to, uh, to read the analog inputs. So um, we need the documentation to uh, know which, um, uh, which instance um, 
uh, delivers information about the analog inputs and digital inputs and digital outputs and so on. So in this case, um, the documentation can be found here. So we are starting this example and um, this is the temperature of our um, analog inputs. And another example I have uh, to set digital outputs. Um, first of all, we have to register our session and then use the set instance to write values to the Ethernet IP device. So this is this was for as a start. Okay. We are setting the state of our digital outputs uh, too high. And that's it.